everybody. I'm Mary Althaus, and today we're going to take a closer look at the contents of part two of Yang and the Japanese People, which we saw last time. Before we get to that, though, let's review what we studied in our last lesson. Do you remember the difference between ngaarimas and ngaimas? Bōshi ngaarimas. Bōshi ngaarimas. Neko ngaimas. Neko ngaimas. Hako ngaarimas. Hako ngaarimas. Inu ngaimas. Inu ngaimas. Hako ngaarimas. Were you able to follow that? I think it brought back the difference between arimas and imas, didn't it? Imas is used of people and animals, and arimas of other things. In the next exercise, you don't need to give the name of each object. Just say aloud whether you should use arimas or imas with it. They'll appear one after another, so answer quickly. Arimas. Arimas. Imas. あります。います。います。あります。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。います。
Listen to Minesan and then practice pronouncing it. Asoko ni imasu. Asoko ni imasu. In this case, too, the sentence means the cat is over there. But for the same reason I mentioned a moment ago, it would be unnatural to repeat neko wa. Now, let's listen once more to the flow of the conversation from the point where the cat first appears. Neko ga imasu yo. Doko ni imasu ka? Asoko ni imasu. Asoko ni imasu. This expression is used to tell where the cat is, isn't it? But what positions can asoko be used to express? Let's see what positional relationships asoko and the related word koko show. Neko wa doko ni imasu ka? Asoko ni imasu. Doko? Hora, asoko. Doko, doko? あそこ。ああ、そこ。犬はどこにいますか？犬はここにいますよ。どこ？犬はここにいますよ。ここここ。どこどこ？ How was that? Did you understand the difference between asoko and koko? Koko is used of positions which are very close to the speaker. Asoko is used of positions which aren't very close to either the speaker or the listener. I think by now many of you have probably noticed the similarity between koko and asoko and Kore and are. There is also the word soko, which corresponds to sore. Of course, the former group of words refers to place and the latter to objects, but with respect to positional relationships, they have something in common. Think back to what you have learned about the use of kore, sore, and are as you watch the next little skit. メガネはそこにありますよ。どこに？そこ。どこ？そこ。メガネはここにありますよ。え？ここ。Well, now you understand the difference between koko and soko, don't you? Just as with kore, sore, and are, the correct use of the words koko, soko, and asoko depends on whether a place is close to the speaker, close to the listener, or close to neither of them. In the next supermarket skit, where are the things that are being asked about? コーヒーはどこにありますか？コーヒーはそこにあります。どこ？コーヒーはここにあります。コーヒーはここ。ミルクは？ミルクはここにあります。あ、ミルクはそこ。どうもありがとう。
アイスクリームはあそこどこあそこあああそこチーズはチーズはあそこあああそこパンはそこバターバターはここバターはそこしょうゆはどこにありますかあそこどこあそこどこそこどこしょうゆはここあああああはい。Round curved shapes are a basic characteristic of hiragana writing. After this, in each lesson, we'll be teaching you how to write a few letters, so be sure to practice yourself. Ah, ah, ah. First, the letter A. Be careful to keep this vowel short in duration, meaning short and quick in time duration. Repeat it. Ah. 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 E. 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 This is the vowel E. When pronouncing it, say it sharply and quickly. Try repeating it yourself. E. E. U, U, U. Next, U. In pronouncing this sound, it is important to let your lips relax without rounding them. Like the first two sounds, U is also short and clipped. Let's practice repeating it. U, U. The fourth Japanese vowel is e. When pronouncing it, be careful not to open your mouth very widely. This sound is also short in duration. Practice pronouncing it. E. 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 O. 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 The final Japanese vowel O is also sharp and short in duration. Be very, very careful not to stretch it into the diphthong O. Keep it short and clipped. Now try it. O. 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 That wasn't too hard, was it? These are the only vowel sounds in Japanese, and they are vital. In fact, none of the other hiragana letters can be pronounced without using one of them. Now it's time to learn some words indicating position. 
First of all, on. 위에, 위에. How do you say on the table? 테이블은 너 위에, 테이블은 너 위에. How about under? 下, 下. How about under the table? Table の下, table の下. Then how do you say in front of? 前、前。How about in front of me? 私の前、私の前。Well then, how about behind? 後ろ。後ろ。How do you say behind me? 私の後ろ。私の後ろ。Let's take a look at the use of these four words: 上、下、前、and 後ろ。ボールはテーブルの上にあります。ボールはどこにありますか。ボールは椅子の下にあります。ボールは椅子の下にあります。ボールはどこにありますか。ボールは。箱の後ろにあります。ボールは箱の後ろにあります。ボールは私の前にあります。ボールはミネさんの前にあります。ボールは頭の上にあります。ああ。海宝さんはどこにいますか。海宝さんはボールの下にいます。Now you're sure of the use of no we, no sta, no mae, and no shiro, aren't you? But when something is inside something like this, what should we say? Let's ask Sugihara san. Ball wa doko ni arimasu ka? Hako no naka ni arimasu. Hako no naka ni arimasu. Ah, then to tell that something is inside something, we use no naka. Let's look at the scene in the skit about Yang in which this was used. はい。ヤンさん、お茶碗やお皿はここにありますよ。はい。ナイフやフォークやスプーンはこの中。はい。コップとコーヒーカップはこの上です。ナイフやフォークやスプーンはこの中。コップとコーヒーカップはこの上です。In the scene you watched just now, Mrs. Kato was explaining the position of things, wasn't she? But she used the pattern wa des instead of wa ni arimas. Both have about the same meaning. There are also two new kinds of expressions in this section of the skit. First, there was kop to kohi kappu. Then there was knife, ya fork, ya spoon. Both to and ya are conjunctions which join words of the same type, but there's a slight difference in the way they are used. If there are a pencil and a pen and a ballpoint pen, we can say. Enpis to pen to ball pen ga arimas. Enpis to pen to ball pen ga arimas. As you see, then. To is used when you mention each item one by one, but what about ya? Enpis ya pen ga arimas. Enpis ya pen ga arimas. Do you see the difference? Ya 
is used when you mention only some of the items and leave others out. Let's consider this difference as we watch the following scene. Cup to coffee cup はここです。はい。スプーンとナイフとフォークと割り箸とストローと。コーヒーカップはここです。はい。スプーンやフォークはここです。はい。No problem with that, right? Next, let's watch a different scene from part two of the skit about Yang. It contains a new and very important grammatical point. どうです。新しい部屋ですよ。ああ。明るい部屋ですね、ヤンさん。そうですね。どうです。新しい部屋ですよ。明るい部屋ですね、ヤンさん。Our new grammatical structure concerns 新しい部屋 a new room, and 明るい部屋 a bright, sunny room. Both 新しい and 明るい are adjectives. これはきれいな水です。これは汚い水です。ああ、これはおいしい水です。水。Means water, and kirei na mizu means clean, pure water. Kitanai mizu means dirty water, and oishi mizu means good tasting water. You can see then that Japanese has two kinds of adjectives: those which end in na and those which end in i. For now, just remember that these are called na adjectives and i adjectives. Well, to wind up our lesson for today. Let's watch part two of our skit about Yang once more. フロバがありますか？いえいえ、フロバありません。えっとえっとフロバフ。あ、まあどうぞ。これはどうですか？洋室とフロバがあります。日本式の部屋はありませんか？あ、和室ですね。ありますよ。えー、っとこれはどうです？綺麗な部屋ですよ。台所がありますか？え、台所も古場もあります。場所はどこですか？えー、っとね、場所はあここです。ですね。大家さんのうちです。お客さん、部屋あちらです。この裏です。ヤンさん、池がありますよ。何かいますか？うーん、何もいませんね。あれ
猫がいますよえどこにほらあそこにいますよあああそこですか<笑><笑>お客さんどうぞこちらへどうです新しい部屋ですよああ畳も綺麗ですね明るい部屋ですねヤンさんそうですねお客さん台所はここですよガスと水道がありますほら風呂はどこにありますかあ風呂場は風呂場風呂場あ風呂場はここではありませんフロバーここですへえシャワーもありますよいいフロバーですね<笑>さあさあ皆さんお茶をどうぞあこれはどうもすみませんお客さんこちら大家さんの鈴木さんです鈴木でございますどうぞよろしくはじめましてはじめましてよろしくさあお茶をどうぞありがとうございますうん、さあさあいただきましょう。<笑>はいナイフやフォークやスプーンはこの中はいコップとコーヒーカップはこの上ですはいどうもありがとうございました洋服はこの中ですよごちそうさまはいごちそうさまでしたおっあ来た来たあどうもどうもごめんくださいこれはこれは加藤でございますはじめましてヤンさんこれは引っ越しそばですどうぞ召し上がってくださいおやばこれはご丁寧にどうもどうぞよろしくお願いいたしますよろしくお願いしますこちらこそどうぞよろしく,ろしく